Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We have still got a few jobs to do. We need to refill coolant, we need to check the engine for damaged parts, and replace the damaged radiator. Now, checking the engine is going to be a more significant job than any of the others. What I'm going to do first, though, is I'm going to get the ladder, and we're going to go over and going to do the coolant. Because this is a fairly easy job to do. So if I just go to there and remove you. And then I'll take that one off. We'll run over here. Pick that one up. And we'll get this one, we'll, we'll get this one going. Right? If, if we can get this bit done. Wait, what? Why is that completely empty? That shouldn't be completely empty. Hmm. Well, if that's completely empty, it means that the... Well, of course, of course, of course, the radiator was shot to pieces, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking, really, if this was, like, totally accurate, we would be having to replace the radiator first. Because this would just be draining out the, ho the, the hole in the bottom of the radiator. Uh, it's not happening, though. You notice that the second one always seems to have less in it than any of the others? Where can I put you? There. Yeah. There's always not quite enough space to put the, the coolant can down. Take you right there. That final one there, that will fill up and it'll go between minimum and max. There we go, perfect. Right. That little job is now done. If I can put you... There we go. Right. Put that one down. Climb back up here. I will just close this stuff down because I can. And then we can worry about starting to strip stuff off afterwards. Right. And close the coolant access door and close that one down. Okay, that's, that, that job is done. So now I need to do the radiator bit down the bottom. That should be fairly easy. Right down here, look. Uh, I want to go down to there. Right. So that radiator cover, the radiator itself, is the radiator damaged? Oh, the radiator's damaged as well. All right, so we, we're going to have to remove that one. And then we've got to check the engine. Well, let's let's go and do... Oh, actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go and have a look on here. Park maintenance, no. Right, so we can't check that piece. There's nothing that we can do with that one. But what we can do is we can go into here. We've got a radiator that we need to replace. But what about the radiator cover? Does that mean that we've already got a radiator cover here somewhere? To press number two. Right. Let's go over under here a minute and put that radiator back on and the radiator cover. That looks like a new cover. I don't know if it is or not. I can't remember if I took it off previously or not. Uh, but anyway, that bit's done. So, yeah, replace the damaged radiator. Check the engine for damaged parts. Now, this is the bad boy that is going to take us a bit of time. Uh, fortunately, we don't have timed things, so we're not going to have to worry about that. But, yeah, apparently the pilot was a little bit abusive when he came in last time. I mean, you know, it, it, it's kind of understandable. He did have people shooting at him and things like that. So it's it, it's going to possibly cause you to have... Um, you, you, you're going to be more concerned for getting back alive than you are for making sure that everything is in absolutely pristine condition, aren't you? I mean, let, let's be honest about this. We've we, we, we got to give him a little bit of credit. He, he did come in under fire. Uh, right, so I've just pulled everything off of there. I'll pull the spinner off as well. Like that. It would help if I zoomed in a little bit. It's, it's getting the, the point on it there. Right. Uh, and then we're going to go to number three. And we're going to start checking everything that we can around the top. I suspect that these bits are going to be absolutely fine. I don't reckon that we'll find any issues up here. And any issues that we do find will be cylinder head uh, further inside the engine. We're not going to be finding them up here. So there's nothing there. Uh, I've got that bit down there. Generator, suppressor. Those are the ones that we replaced last time. And then we've got the supercharger up there. We've got a hydraulic pump, oil filter, fuel filter. What else have we got? 
bits in there. Ignition wires, port magneto, fuel pump. Uh, you know what? I'll look under here. Engine starter. The block right there. We go. We'll go up through the exhaust pipes over this side. Oh, that one I've already checked. It's difficult to see over this side now. What else have we got? Is there anything down here? Supercharger. That's all fine. Right. Well, according to this, everything out, everything that I can see at the moment is okay. But I, I still need to strip it all apart. So we're going to have to go onto here, onto the rocker cover, and then strip all of that down like that. There, and take you off. And then if we go like that, and then I go to you, like that. Start taking all of them off, like that, and there, and you. And that side over there as well. Right, and then the rocker mechanism, because once you've done the rocker mechanism, you can take most of the rest of the thing out all in one go, if I remember correctly. Uh, so then we want that port exhaust over there, and then we come over to this side, and we'll do that starboard exhaust. And then we'll do the rocker mechanism on this side. Remember, we're doing four bolts at once now, so it is considerably faster than it was. So now that I've done that, I can go just like that. And that oh, hang on, no, I've got to take that top cowling off. There and there, like that. And then I can take... Oh, I've got to wait for that one to be taken off. Fine. I will wait for that one to be taken off. I could remove the generator. Or I've got that one off. There, we've got that piece. So now I can just click on that and go like this and remove all of this lot up through here. Like that. And then do the same on this side and remove all of that. So that's going to let us get inside and check the uh, all of the pistons, which is what we want to do. We want to be able to get in here and we want to check the pistons and make sure those are all tickety-boo and in top-notch condition and those are looking fine on that side and if I come over to this side they are looking absolutely fine on that side as well we've got nothing wrong with yep they're all fine okay so the piston rings themselves are absolutely fine there's nothing wrong with any of them but we've got to check the entire it said check the engine so I'm wondering if there is a piece on here somewhere that we've got to find that is not in top condition. Uh, so I think that we'll remove this one. Like that. I've also got that piece up there. We'll remove that because that's going to want to come out if we can remove the next piece. And that one as well. Over there. That one's got to come out. Okay, so you're out. No. You mean no. Ah. Starter down there. And... Oh, don't forget the coolant pump. These are the bits that I forget. It's these bits all underneath. Oh, there's another bit that I'm missing somewhere. No, sir. Ah, uh, fuel pump in there. Take that one off. Did I check the fuel pump? Is that something that I actually checked? Uh, inventory in here. These are all fine and pristine. Page one of one. Right, so that's... Well, it, it, is, it is obviously checked. If it's come up like that, it's fine. So then I can go on to the fuel pump like that. Uh, the, the wheel thing, the, the housing of this one. All of that lot can come out really quickly, and then we can go in and we can check anything else that might be able to be checked on the actual engine in here, which I don't think there is anything. Yeah, I'm... Cylinder, pristine. There's nothing else in here to check. Right, that's, that's all of the bits that I can check, so I didn't actually need to take any of those off. 
Then we have a look in here, and I'm on check mode at the moment, and everything is fine on there. i got no issues there. Spark plugs we want to have a look at. I suspect if we can find one item, it you know, it might actually be the head gasket again on one of them. Now, last time it was the head gasket on this side. Okay, those are fine there. Uh, that one's fine. But it was, if you remember, it was the gasket on this side last time, wasn't it? Uh, cylinder block, that's fine. And then the spark plug. And it said check the engine. Right, so this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's... Ah, look. See, we've got, we've got two valves over there that are damaged. But I reckon it's going to also be the... Um, the gasket on this one. We already we did the gasket on the other one. So I think if we can do it on this one, it'll end up being all tickety-boo once again. Spark plug. Fine. 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 And that's pristine. There. That's, all of those are okay. Camshaft is fine. Hydraulic pump is for everything. Uh, camshaft. Yeah, that's, that's all good. Right, well, in which case, we want to go on here like that, and I want to remove that valve and that valve. That appears to be the only thing currently that has got issues, and that is the two valves. So if we go back over here a minute, we take those two, we check them like that, and then we run back down here, and we go to option two. Like that. Task complete. Check the engine for damaged parts. Excellent. Right, so we can now put everything back together. We've got all primary tasks complete. This should be a very fast and easy job. Put those bits in there. And then start putting all of this back together. Because we've got nothing else that we need to worry about. I can put that wheel case back onto there. It's a nice quick one to go into there, and then port magneto. It's the bits underneath that can take a while. i got the supercharger to go onto there. Now remember, I've got that one bolt onto the top there. And we go around, and then we go back to that one up there again. we put the port exhaust onto there. I want the fuel pump. These are, the, these are the little bits that take a while. We've got a coolant pump to go in under there. We've got a... Oops. I'm going to do that. Engine starter under there. Like that. And we can put that cowling back on. I'll do that in a minute. I want to make sure I get all the other bits on first. Uh, and you can go on. And then... All right. Let's put the other, star, let's put the, the other cylinder block back in. Like that. Uh, 15 minutes left. You'll, we'll be fine with that 15 minutes, right? That's this not going to be an issue in the slightest. So let's get that one back onto there. And then the port exhaust over that side. Exhaust over on this side. Uh, start putting that one on. Right the way down through there like that. And then I can put the other two exhaust pipes on. There and there. Sit. Yep. Rocker mechanism. Put that all the way down through. Those bits up there like that. There we go. Uh, I want to put that cowling cover on. There and there. Then we've got the rocker cover. Yeah, fat. It's so much better with this boost, right? The the the, the um the, the boost that we ended up getting, uh, doing four at once. That's that's what we're on now, isn't it? It's we're doing four at once. Oops. Right, I did make a mistake there. I've accidentally not clipped on the cover on the other side. So I've got to do that. I've got to come over to this side, and I've got to take the thing off again. There. I didn't put the thing back on properly. Right. And then I go back to number two like that. And then we can swing out round right. Because if you right click so that you come out of the mode, it doesn't let you finish it off. So you've got to take the thing off 
in order to be able to put it back on again. Which is a little bit of a nuisance. I mean, it's alright. It's, it's not the end of the world, is it? Not by any stretch. And we put you back on over there like that. I think that is just about everything. We've got the rocker cover on here. I don't think there's anything... Oh, hang on. Did I put the Magneto on the other side? Do you up a minute. I must have done, or it wouldn't be letting me put the cowling on. It doesn't let you put the cowling on unless you've put everything back inside. So let's spin around there. Uh, do that one up. And then I've got you on here. Zoom in a bit. Like that. And no, you don't actually have to click on each of those individually. Someone was asking me the other day. No, you don't. Right, inventory. We've got nothing left in the inventory. So that should be that we are all done. Uh, task. Yes. Fantastic. And we did it well within time as well. I know that we don't actually have the time limit on, but we definitely did it well within time, which is absolutely fantastic. There's 20 points. That makes 25. That makes 30 points. Final result plus another 30. There's a good 60 points going on to our total right there. Gives us 22, 5, 5 which is just 250 points, 245 points to go until we reach the rank of Corporal. A patrol over Hastings, no enemies in sight. Check hydraulics had to manually lower the undercarriage. So fix the hydraulic system and refuel the aircraft. Well, refueling is fairly simple. So we will go racing over this way and remove that fuel cap right there. And then we come back over this way, we scramble up onto there, we put that one in there, and then we go over to you, and... Uh, what is that? There's 40 gallons in the top bit, I think. Or is it 35? It's 35. Right. It's been a few days since I played, so I've forgotten. I've forgotten everything that I've learned, to my eternal shame. Let's go up to there, and put the fuel cap on. Right, so we've got that bit. The hydraulic system. Where is... The, he had to manually lower. So we want to go to... No, I don't want to... I don't want to open that bit just yet. I want to... Actually, I want to come down here. Right, so where is the hydraulic system? Is that in here? Is that something to do with this? Have I got a, a, a thing? Uh, I want to go to... Number two... That's the main landing wheel. There's nothing on this bit up here, though, is there? There's nothing there that we do anything with. So as this, yeah, that's uh, that's the brake pad. Right. So as there's nothing down there that we do anything with, it's the we'll go with the bottom engine cowling. I think we'll take that off, and we'll have a look under there. Let's see if there's anything under here that needs looking at. Uh, engine starter. We've got a coolant pump. Uh, we've got a supercharger, a wheel case. What else have we got? Well, the coolant is absolutely fine. Wheel case, supercharger. What engine cowling. What else have I got in there? I don't really know what I'm looking for on this at the moment. No surprises there. I never really know what I'm looking for. Let's take this one off a minute and we'll have a look under the next bits. So I swear that... Well, we've got some oil in there, but that's engine oil. That's, that's not anything else. That's not any other oil. So let's go to number three right here. Port Magneto. This, there's nothing. Fuel filter. Fuel. This is not that. It's not the generator which you wouldn't expect it to be. Um, oil's hydraulic system. Where is the bits that run the hydraulic system? I've got a fuel pump in there. That's not it. Oil filters. It wouldn't be that. That's the. That's got, that's got to be for the engine. Ignition wires under there. All of this. Port cylinders. Yeah, it's not going to be anything to do with any of that. None of it at all. So where is this system that I'm after? Let's remove these covers for a minute. I can have a little bit, a bit of a better look that might help me. Uh, right, let's uh, let's go over this way. 
Right, so I've got supercharger. Uh, ah, hydraulic pump. There we go. A hydraulic pump, air compressor. Is there anything? Starboard cylinder head. There's nothing else on there. It's just that hydraulic pump by the look of it. Okay, right. Well, if it's just that one, we'll put this cowling back on over on this side first. Like that, so that I don't possibly forget it. I don't think I'm likely to forget it, but still. Um, it's the thought that counts, isn't it? And we want to go over this way. So I want on there, I want that hydraulic pump. Take you off of there. Should just be the hydraulic pump. And it might also be that we can repair said hydraulic pump. So let's try it. Yes, we can. One damaged hydraulic pump. We go to there and we repair you on that bit. And then we repair you on that bit. And then we repair you on that bit. Like that. And that one on that bit there. Excellent. Fantastic. Right. That's another five points earned for repairing that one. So then I go to option number two. We'll put the bottom cowling back on because there's nothing under here that we want to do. So replace all of that, like that. And then we spin up to here and we get that hydraulic pump back on like that. Task completed. Fix the hydraulic system. Top engine cowling. We'll put that one on. That is everything done now. And we can turn that job in. We will have earned ourselves 10 points for doing the two jobs. No, uh, another five points for saving the part. Uh, so it's going to be 45 points altogether. That's brilliant, actually. That'll leave us with just 200 to go. It should be. Should be 200 to go. Fix, five points. Refuel, five points. Save spare parts, one, five points. Final result, perfect job, 30 points. Exactly 2,300 points. 200 to go until we reach Corporal. Large bomber group over London, one bomber and one fighter down. Check oil and coolant. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got possible 60 points right here. Replace the gun port patches, refill coolant, refuel, rearm, refill, replace the gun camera tape. Fairly simple. Obviously, rearming the guns does take a minute or two, but this is still a fairly quick task that we are getting a lot better at. So. Let's remove that fuel cap over there, and I go up here. Coolant. Coolant access door, like that. Coolant tank cap, like that. Oil access door, like that. Oil cap, like that. Right, so I've, I've removed all of those caps. And then I can run up here, and I'll drop you into there like that, and then we come down over to here, and now it's, uh, it's, it's 35 gallons for the top, isn't it? 30 gallons. We've got 30 gallons that we've used on this one, I'm saying, and, oh, smack bang on target this time. An actual accurate guess. I mean, yes, technically, I suppose it could have been 30.5 gallons, but, uh, we're close enough. We're well within our target range of uh, plus or minus five. I'm pleased with that. Let's back you up a little bit. There we go. Right, next up, we will do the coolant. We can scramble up the ladder up there and we can go into you. How much did you drink? Not very much. This is just going to be the one can, I think. Not any more than that. And there we go. So there is the coolant bit done. Run you down here and set you back down again. Uh, I'll remove the ladder out of the way. We'll put you up there. And then what I did last time was I picked this bad boy up here. And I turned it round, didn't I? And that actually worked fairly well. That that that, that kind of worked quite well. So if, if we spin around like that. And then run it over kind of like that, I think. There. Right, now we come over this side. Oh, hang on. There, pick up the hose over there like that. Pop that one in there. Perfect. And then we can come over to here. You can see it a lot better. Definitely, yes, that definitely works a lot better by turning it round and doing it like that. Oil is quite slow. It's definitely a slow old job pumping that through, but we can get there. Task completed. Wait. Wait, stop! What? 
Okay, I don't know why that did that, but we did overfill slightly. Um, it might have just been the way that I let it go or something like that. I'm, I'm not quite sure, but it definitely didn't do what it was entirely supposed to do. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to be all right. I'm hoping that we're not going to get any kind of penalty for that. A bit concerned now. Definitely a bit concerned. But I, in the end, I right-clicked, and that took us out of the mode, and so then it stopped pumping. So I'm hoping that is going to be sufficient. Right, so if I go to option two, like this, and we put that oil cap on there, we put that fuel cap on there, and we put that coolant tank lid on there. Oil access door there, and then the coolant access door on there. That's those three done. Right, and now we go to option number one, and we come down here. Gun camera tape. You up. Camera shell. Out you go. And then we go to number two. We put a new one in. We close you down, and we put the cover back on. Just like that. So there is four jobs done. We've got six jobs to do all together. The other one is obviously the gun port patches, which is a really easy one. Yeah, like that. I'm already mostly done. And redoing the the ammunition on the guns as well. Now that's one that we've we've done a few times before. So we are familiar with it. Breach cover up. And then we can do that one in there. Breach cover. You over there. Breach cover. Right, let's spin round underneath. Take that one out. Down there. And then we can take that one out as well. Right. That's the first bit done. Ammo boxes. So I was told that there are... Uh, actually, there was a couple people that said um, the gun... Like the, the ammo boxes, I was saying about that the, we've got different types. And it's purely because of the way that the ammunition is stacked inside the ammunition boxes. This is what I was told. Because it, it's the direction that they're stacked. Because of the direction of the ejection chutes on the guns. So that's the bit that determines which way round they go. Um, and yeah, it's the, the, the guns are the same caliber. But the it's it's where the ejection chutes are and the the direction they um, come out, which means that the bullets have got to be facing a different direction inside the ammo box, and that's why you've got ammo box A and ammo box B, which is um, it was a thing that I was asking last week as to why there was different ones like that. I thought it might be something like that. Uh, I did wonder if it maybe would was the like different size uh, gun barrels, but it's not. Even having the shorter gun barrels apparently doesn't make any difference. So you got what you shouldn't have is ammo box type B here. We've got two of those. That's wrong. It should be an A and a B in each section because you've got the different directions that the um, the ejection shoots work on the guns. So each pair of guns would have one ammo box A and one ammo box B is what it should have. Uh, at least this is what I've been told by a few of the viewers. So there we go. We, we've um, we've learned something there. That could potentially be a slight error. Let's run over here and we grab that. So we want four of each of these. So that's all it is. It's literally just the direction that the bullets are facing whilst um, packed away inside their little um, inside the boxes there. So that they eject the right way when the gun is firing. Let's put you down to there and zoom out a little bit. There we go. If we do it like that, perfect. And then we can put you onto there and we can put zoom in a bit there. Put you onto there like that. And then we go to the ammo box. I'm really sorry, folks, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to interrupt things there as it's time for us to head back to the barracks and get some tea. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.